and um, I hope it will continue to do so. Says the doctor. Now there can be no more devastating news for a parent than to be told their child has a serious illness and is unlikely to live for very long. So, but what would you say to a child who asked you, "Am I going to die?" I would take it back to them and just say, "What do you think that means?" And how do you feel about that? So how do you manage such knowledge? And what do you tell the child who may be too young to really understand what death means? Well, six months ago, Alex and Andy Johnson were told their son Jack has Duchenne muscular dystrophy, a condition for which there is no cure. Caroline Cheatham met them at their home in Manchester. And Jack. <gasps> Jack, how old are you? Uh, old <gasps> Oh, what you're holding up. Should we count those fingers? One. One, two, three. Are you four? Dad? Yeah. Come on, Dad. Okay. Come on, Dad. Okay. In position. I think I had a slight inkling just after he was two. You start to notice at play groups and different things and that he was struggling, but it, there wasn't a significant difference between him and other children. It just seemed he found things a little bit harder. Jack was about three and a half and it was my health visitor who actually sort of took my concerns on board and referred me to a physio who we did have a 20 week wait for. I think I knew and she knew during that first initial meeting that there was a problem. Having left the meeting I went away and googled and came up with with the show muscular dystrophy. I didn't know where Jack should be up to, having no children before Jack was our first child, so it was difficult to gauge where, where it should be.
like to dismiss it, I sat down with her and just talked to her about how we all go there one day. Mm. So how did you progress with that conversation with such a little child? Well, it was a great difficulty. <laughs>